Another way in which ruler guides behave like standard objects is that they can be stepped and repeated. Let me create a ruler guide here. I'm just going to drag it down and kind of randomly position it. Now it's still selected, as you can tell by the darker blue color. So I'm going to go up to Edit, Duplicate. Gives me a second one. I can also select this and go to Edit, Step and Repeat. Now if I turn on Preview, I can see, let's make that positive quarter inch, exactly all the guides I'm creating. So using step and repeat, I can very quickly grid out the page with my guides. So I'll just hit OK on this, and maybe I want a vertical ruler guide. And I'm going to go to Edit, Step and Repeat. Let's give this 0.25 inches horizontal offset, and then we'll increase the number here. And I now have grid paper to do precise drawing on. Of course, I should have been a little more precise in my original placement, but you get the idea.